Another day, another opportunity to learn. We have the refinery which is 650,000 barrels per day. 650,000 barrels per day nestled on the serene shores of the Atlantic Ocean in Lagos, Africa's largest city. The Dangle Tail Refinery stands as a towering testament to innovation and economic progress led by Africa's wealth, Aliko Dangote. This ambitious project has captured the imagination of the nation and the world often referred to. The Dangote Refinery is not only the largest single train refinery in the world but also a symbol of Nigeria's determination to become self-reliant in meeting its energy needs a state-of-the-art masterpiece with, with technology enabling the refinery to crack any crude including the most polluted and contaminated as the refinery begins operation we explore its features its process of construction and impacts on the nigerian economy aliko dangote publicly announced his plan to build a refinery in nigeria in 2013. during that time he expressed his vision of constructing a world-class refinery complex that would contribute to nigeria's economic growth and reduce the country's dependence on imported petroleum products this announcement marked the beginning of a transformative journey that has since captivated the nation and gathered global attention. The plant was initially planned to be built at the Free Trade Zone, Ondo State. The zone is jointly owned by Ogun and Ono State, respectively. But the lack of political support forced Dangote to move his refinery project to Lagos. The site chosen as the Lucky Free Trade Zone. The land area is approximately 2,635 that is more than two times the land area of Eco-Atlantic City and about six times the size of Victoria Island in Lagos. Building here was extremely challenging as 60% of the construction site was swampy before main construction could begin. Sand filling, land reclamation and dredging had to be done. The land was elevated three meters above sea level. The whole operation Construction of this mega plant first began in 2016. It is the most sophisticated project in Nigeria with a Nelson complexity index of 10.5 making the refinery even more complex than refineries in Europe and the United States. For this reason, construction process involved extensive planning, engineering and collaboration with experts from around the world. Procurements of parts and equipment had to be meticulously planned. 332 cranes had to be procured for the project including the world largest crane to lift heavy equipment like the world largest single crude distillation column into position due to the size of these equipment. The project had to include a private jetty as the Lagos port complex lacked the capability to handle. The size of equipment being brought in. The roads were no options to move these equipment. Either the piling works that supports this mammoth structure of steel and concrete is 250,000. The intensive construction and scale of the refinery makes it the largest industrial complex by land area in the whole continent of Africa. Its technology is the latest in its class. Here are the features of this mega project and the impact on the economy. The refinery includes the world's longest subsea pipeline with 1,100 kilometers to handle 3 billion standard cubic foot of gas per day. It connects rich oil and gas fields and river state to the refinery in Lagos. The gas access feedstock for the fertilizer plant and for power generation. One of the major components of any refinery is the crude distillation column. The Dangle Tail Refinery has by far the largest single crude distillation column in the world. The column has a weight of 2250 metric tons, a length of 112.5 meters, a width of 14.36 meters and height of 13.752 meters. The entire structure was manufactured by Sinopec in a record time of 14 months and took 8 weeks to be shipped from China down to Nigeria. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Dr. Godwin I. Y. Field has stated that Nigeria spends about 30% of its forex reserves to import refined petroleum products, 5% to import polyethylene, polypropylene and other petrochemical products, another 2% to import fertilizer. By the time the refinery begins full operation, Nigeria will move close to saving nearly 40% of its four reserves. 
A 435-megawatt gas-fired power plant was built to fully power the refinery petrochemical plant, fertilizer plant, and other ancillary infrastructure within the industrial complex. This means the entire industrial complex will not depend on discos for power supply. A $2 billion petrochemical plant has been completed within the complex. It is the largest petrochemical plant in Africa and will produce 900,000 metric tons of 77 different high-performance grades of polypropylene. The plant is expected to meet the demands of the growing plastic processing industries in Nigeria and globally. Dago Tail Fertilizer Plant is Africa's largest granulated urea fertilizer complex. The plant occupies 500 hectares of land within the complex and was built at a cost of $2.5 billion. The plant was commissioned on the 22nd of March 2022. The Dangle Tail Refinery will have an annual refining capacity of 10.4 million tons of gasoline. In addition to 4.6 million tons of diesel and 4 million tons of jet fuel, it will also produce 0.69 million tons of polypropylene, 0.24 million tons of propane, 32,000 tons of sulfur and 0.5 million tons of carbon black feed. This project will restore the dignity of Nigeria, a crude producing country that has for many years gone abroad to meet its demand for refined products. All of the petroleum product demands of Nigeria will be met by the refinery with excess for exportation. The refinery designs complies with the World Bank US EPA European Emission Norms and the Department of Petroleum Resources Emission and Effluent Norms. Gasoline and diesel from the refinery also conformed to Euro V specification. The Dangle Tail Refinery project was officially unveiled in 2013 with an estimated cost of $9 billion by February 2021. The governor of the central bank, Dr. Godwin Amy Field revealed that inflation had taken construction costs to at least $15 billion. By the time the entire complex including the refinery, fertilizer and petrochemical plant become fully completed. An estimated amount of $19 billion would have been sunk into the project. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.